I'm Dargan Frierson. I've lived in Seattle for about seven years. Work in the atmospheric sciences department. I'm a climate scientist. Study sort of the fundamental processes of what makes the atmosphere tick. I also uh, love to play music. I bring my mandolin in and sing songs about uh, climate science in the classroom. I uh, find it's a great way for the students to learn uh, and get excited about the topic. So there's about to be a big change in our life. We're going to have, uh, have a real family, um, have a baby girl. We're making preparations for my daughter's future. Getting everything in order for, for, uh, to make it so that our daughter will have a better life than we will. And it disturbs me quite a bit that we're not making these kind of preparations in terms of our climate future. So one particular moment that was really important for me in realizing that I wanted to study climate science, do something about this, uh, was when I experienced Hurricane Floyd. It was just an awful storm. I'd experienced a lot of storms, a lot of hurricanes growing up on the coast of North Carolina, but Floyd was really different. And just seeing the massive amount of destruction that happened from that uh, was really disturbing to me. Uh, never seen anything like that. It made me really realize how unprepared we are for the storms of today. We're going to have many more severe weather events, uh, stronger storms, expanding desertification. And this is stuff that really worries me about the future of the planet. People seem to think that there's so much debate about climate science, but actually just in terms of the basic idea that uh, global warming's happening, it's due to people, and it's going to get worse in the future, there's no disagreement about that among scientists. So I would like uh, the world to get together and you know, try to solve this problem. I think we have the tools to do it. What we need to do is think some about that future, uh, what we're leaving for our children. <laughs>